Hi everyone, it's Nichelle here again with Birth You Hoover. Here at Birth You Hoover, I am a full spectrum plant-based holistic doula and an advocate for all things safe, natural, and effective. Here on this channel, we discuss all things related to birth, pregnancy, and womb health. So if you like what you hear, you like the content of the channel, please be sure to subscribe. Um, today's topic is going to be about nutrition during pregnancy, which is uh, very, very essential, very important, and very vital for the health of you and your baby. Um, yes, I am uh, an advocate for a plant-based diet during, um, not even just pregnancy, but uh, as a lifestyle. Uh, but let's just get into talking about um, why nutrition is important during your pregnancy and just in general. So um, when we look at pregnancy, uh, we know that we are growing uh, an entire human, an entire life in our bodies. So in order to sustain that life and to also sustain ourselves so that we feel good, so that our bodies feel good, um, we need to eat well. Um, it, your nutrition largely impacts uh, how you feel, uh, your mental state, um, and also how you develop your baby. And most importantly, it can really impact how successful your birthing process is. Um, so I really want to dig into um, looking at how we break down um, eating during this time. So first of all, I, I strongly encourage this as a lifestyle because if you're already eating well, if you know that you want to get pregnant, you know that you're ready to have a baby, you and your partner have decided like we're going to go do this, um, you need to be thinking about boosting your immune system. You need to be thinking about uh, boosting your iron, uh, your folate intake. You need to be thinking about um, your calcium, your manganese, your mineral C's, um, and all of that stuff because this is going to alleviate and most likely avoid things like high blood pressure, um, preeclampsia, gestational diabetes, um, uh, so many other different uh, problems that can arise, uh, dehydration, uh, malnutrition when you're pregnant because your placenta and your baby is going to take from your body what it needs. So if it's taking, but it's not enough, then you're going to feel the impact of that. You're going to feel the nausea. You're going to feel the morning sickness. You're going to feel tired, fatigued, um, agitated, uh, constipated, all of those different things. You need to be eating properly so that you can avoid that stuff. A lot of people, I know a lot of women, uh, especially recently, um, have been dealing with HG and, and this is during pregnancy. And I feel like it's largely because we're getting pregnant. Um, and when we're getting pregnant, we are, uh, mineral deficient. We are deficient in vitamin D. We're deficient in iron folate, which is a big factor in HG, um, but we're uh, deficient in all of these different areas. And then it's what's happening is your body is saying, give everything to the baby and leave mom depleted. And that's just my theory on it. Obviously, I'm not a medical doctor or anything like that, but I have worked with a lot of women who've dealt with this um, and have been able to successfully increase their energy, increase their ability to maintain foods and things like that. But that goes into, like I said, the importance of nutrition when we're talking about carrying a baby. Um, so you definitely uh, want to hydrate properly because hydration uh, is, first of all, water is life. Fluid is life. You have to have water. Our bodies is made of about 72, 75% water. So we all need that, but you definitely need it when you are pregnant, especially because your body has to maintain amniotic fluid. So you definitely have to be hydrated. I know a lot of people say it's so hard to drink a gallon of water. Um, and it is. I'm not going to say that it's not hard, but here's the thing. You don't have to just get a gallon of water and drink a gallon of water. You can eat your you can eat your fluid. You can eat your water. You can have things like cucumbers throughout your day. Cucumbers are about ninety percent water. You can have watermelon, uh, which is about 95-90% water. Any kind of melon, um, high in water. Um, there are so many different uh foods and vegetables that have high water content where you can eat those things 
to get some of that fluid down. Also, soups are my go-to. I love, love, love soups. They are brothy soups, obviously, because then you can get your water. Um, I mean, your fluid intake. Uh, and then you can also use coconut. One of my favorite, favorite things coconut it is a beautiful 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 thing that nature have given us because this hydrates you so quickly um, and it gives you so much minerals um, it gives you so many different it boosts your immune system it helps you um, with fiber and getting your uh, your bowels moving it is such a beautiful um, fruit and I think all of us should be uh, having coconut water every day Crack it open and, and drink the water from it. It is amazing. Um, and you can add, I know some people may not like the flavor. I love the flavor of coconut, but you can add it to a smoothie. You can add it, uh, add a sweetener of some sort, not sugar. We're not going to do that. But, um, you know, a good com complex sugar, we can add that will break down the body properly. But another one of my favorite things to eat during pregnancy and for women in general are berries. Okay, you see that? You see, you see? It's beautiful, first of all. Beautiful food for the beautiful body, right? Um, berries are high in antioxidants. Berries are good um, for fiber. Berries have uh, mineral K, uh, mineral C. Um, it is so great. It has also, a, a, you know, contrary to popular belief, it has protein in it. Um, it is a great uh, complex carbohydrate. It breaks down in the body properly. Um, I think that all women, well, all people should be eating berries. Berries is just can just alleviate so many different diseases and, and, and just problems. I love, love berries. I encourage you to get organic berries because they are largely sprayed when they are grown conventionally with pesticides and things of that nature. Um, and it is really difficult to uh, wash that stuff off of it. It's not impossible, but it is difficult. But if you can... Definitely try to get the organic versions of berries. But berries are a beautiful food for pregnancy, beautiful food for women's health in general. So please, you know, add that to your diet. Like I said, make sure you're hydrating. Hydration, um, you know, when you're not hydrated, you can run into things like early Braxton Hicks. You can run into things like um, dry skin, eczema. The baby can, you know, develop these things. And so I think it's really important to make sure you're hydrating yourself. Make sure you're getting all of the foods. Uh, I know people used to always tell me like, oh my, well, like I got a lot of backlash when I was pregnant. Like, oh, you, you're not going to get protein. You have to eat uh, this and that because your babies are not going to be able to develop blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, wait a minute. First of all, let's talk about the idea of protein. When we're eating any meat, uh, cow, beef, chicken, uh, lamb, whatever all of these animals are plant eaters let's say that all of these animals are plant eaters they get all of their protein from plants we are getting the secondary version of the protein through the animals that we are eating we are not getting the direct protein that they are getting from the plants that they are eating so i hope that makes sense when we are getting meat, and then we also have to cook it. We also have to fry it up and cook it down and saute it and all that stuff, which is basically burning off a lot of the protein that's in it anyway. So it really doesn't make any sense to say, oh, you have to eat animal to get protein or egg or anything like that because you're getting the protein from them that they got from plants and it's coming down in a cycle and when it gets to you it's like this much so you definitely that's definitely something to think about but i also i often tell people they're um quinoa chickpeas wild rice um nuts brazil nuts walnuts uh, sesame seeds hemp seeds all of those things are high in protein so if you're incorporating those things into your diet on a daily basis then you will be well. You will be fine. My children are great. They were born from a vegan womb, except for my first one. Um, but they are they are thriving. So I don't think that is necessarily a thing of oh, you a plant based diet, a vegan plant based diet can be sustainable for a pregnant woman. Um, 
And that's pretty much my take on um, nutrition during pregnancy. Please, 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 if you have any questions, uh, ask me in the comment section. Email me at birthyouhoover at gmail.com. Um, you know, if you want to hear about something that I haven't talked about, you can definitely send that as well. But please make sure we are hydrating ourselves. We are eating properly. Um, definitely dark leafy green veg that is high in protein is also good for chlorophyll um, but all of these things should be incorporated into your diet some way shape or form um, and especially and I know people like oh well you know it's hard to eat like that on a day-to-day -day, day -day basis um, and for some people it is but I sometimes I have an 80 20 rule um, if you're doing if the bulk of your lifestyle is health healthy and the lifestyle itself in the general sense is is, is um taking into account uh you know a good nutritious diet but then you have that 20 or so percent where you indulge or you do or you eat things that you know you enjoy or you enjoyed before that's okay but the majority of it needs to be a wholesome diet in order to sustain you to sustain your baby and then even to avoid a lot of things after birth like uh, postpartum um, issues hemorrhage um, all of those things getting your uh, body ready to produce milk all of those things are largely impacted and largely associated with the diet throughout the time that you're carrying the baby and again like I said please if you're thinking about getting pregnant uh, start then start increasing your um your health journey and, and putting the foods the proper foods in your diet when you even want to get pregnant because that's going to help you thrive you know how you see those women and they're like glowing and they're carrying that baby and they have no issues and they sleep great and it's like oh i'm so jealous of them because i had a horrible pregnancy but it's most likely because their body was already functioning really well before they got pregnant so that's just uh you know tips to uh increase your chances of having a beautiful pregnancy um having a great birth experience um and providing the best uh, environment for your baby uh, oh and i don't want to forget avocados also organic because they largely produce those as well um in a conventional way that we don't want all of those other extra things added and sprayed but avocados are beautiful food for the uterus um, if you look at an avocado, it is shaped like a uterus. So your food talks to you, it speaks to you, it lets you know that, hey, I'm good for this. Hey, I'm good for that. If you look at a walnut, you see that it looks like the top of our brain. So just little stuff like that. Just keep it in mind. Um, and thank you guys for coming and tuning in. I'm not, I could talk all day. I mean, I could talk all day about nutrition, uh, but I'm going to end the video. Um, on, on that note, thank you so much for tuning in. I will see you guys for the next video. Please be sure to like and subscribe. Don't forget to email me if you need any additional um, understanding or if you have topics you want me to talk about. Peace and pregnancy dust.